Spend less, save more. Written and published by Angas Life. Do you want to regain control of your finances and stop feeling overwhelmed by money? Picture a life where your belongings bring you energy instead of draining you, where every purchase has a purpose, and where achieving financial freedom is attainable. Spend less, save more. Become the master of your own money is a comprehensive guide to help you improve your financial habits and mindset. Within these pages, you'll find practical strategies to simplify your life, make wise financial decisions, and create long-term prosperity. Prepare yourself for an adventure that will not only boost your finances, but also enhance your life in ways you never thought possible. Now is the perfect moment to gain control and become the ultimate authority over your finances. Lesson one. Having too many items reduces your energy. In our fast-paced society, it's common to acquire more belongings than necessary. However, it's important to recognize that this excess can have a significant impact on our mental and physical energy levels. Having clutter around, especially with old, broken, or unnecessary items, can drain our energy without us even realizing it. Each item in your space requires a bit of your focus. When you have a lot of stuff around you, your brain has to constantly process all the things you see. This can make you feel tired and make it harder to concentrate. Having an excess of possessions can often lead to an overwhelming number of choices, from choosing an outfit from a cluttered wardrobe to determining which belongings to keep or get rid of. These ongoing choices can be mentally draining. Emotional attachments can be associated with old items. Keeping unnecessary items can create a subtle but persistent stress in your living environment. Clearing out and tidying up unnecessary belongings can be a time-consuming and physically demanding task, taking away from more enjoyable pursuits. When things break, it can be frustrating and demotivating to see reminders of unfinished tasks around you. Having a messy space can be quite frustrating and can waste a lot of time when you're trying to find things you need. This can really hinder your productivity. Having too many possessions can restrict the physical and mental space required for creative thinking and the growth of new ideas. Start by decluttering one area at a time to reclaim your energy. Take a moment to reflect and consider if each item genuinely enhances your life. Simplify your life by getting rid of items that no longer serve you. You can donate, sell, or dispose of them. Keep track of your belongings by regularly evaluating them to avoid accumulating unnecessary clutter in the future. Simplifying your living space can have a positive impact on your energy levels. When you intentionally declutter your belongings, you make space for meaningful experiences, connections, and personal development. The things that truly bring long-lasting satisfaction and vitality. Emma found herself standing in the doorway of her apartment, keys in hand. Unable to move, she was greeted by a sight that was anything but organized: clothes scattered over furniture, books piled precariously, and gadgets strewn about in a chaotic manner. A sense of familiarity washed over her, as though the clutter had become a tangible burden on her shoulders. She entered the room, cautiously maneuvering around the cluttered mess. Emma had always been a collector, firmly believing that every new item. Would bring her happiness or provide a solution. However, recently she had started to doubt this belief. Emma had to move three appliances she rarely used just to access her cutting board while preparing dinner. When she finally sat down to eat, she felt exhausted, not from cooking, but from the constant need to shuffle and organize just to complete basic tasks. She couldn't fall asleep that night. Her thoughts raced. As she mentally listed all of her belongings, considering their upkeep and the space they took up, she remembered her friend Alex, and how serene their minimalist apartment always felt. Emma used to think it appeared empty, but now she longed for its peacefulness. The following day, Emma decided to take a sick day, and called in to inform her workplace. She couldn't bear another day of returning to this draining disorder. Instead, she stood in the center of her living room, truly perceiving her possessions for what they truly were—not sources of joy, 
but rather thieves of her time and energy. Emma started going through her things with determination. In the beginning, it was quite difficult. Every item seemed to provide compelling reasons for why it should remain. However, as the day went on, she discovered it became simpler to release. As she sorted through her belongings, she couldn't help but feel a surge of energy every time she decided to donate or get rid of something. By evening, her apartment had become less cluttered and more organized. Emma found herself in her freshly arranged area, inhaling deeply. There was a noticeable change in the air, and she felt a sense of lightness. In the following weeks, Emma continued her journey of decluttering. She carefully chose what to keep, considering whether each item truly brought value to her life. She decided to stop receiving promotional emails that enticed her to buy new things, and instead prioritized experiences over material possessions. Her energy levels underwent a remarkable transformation. Emma noticed a significant improvement in her work focus, patience with friends, and creativity in her hobbies once she eliminated unnecessary distractions. Her home had transformed into a haven of rejuvenation instead of a source of exhaustion. One evening, while Emma was enjoying the tranquility of her living room, she had an important realization. Having fewer possessions allowed her to have more energy to fully embrace life. With a smile on her face, she felt a sense of relief she hadn't experienced in a long time, finally unburdened by the weight of numerous responsibilities. Lesson 2. Use Kindle or borrow books from the library instead of buying physical copies. With the advancements in technology, book enthusiasts now have a wide range of choices to conveniently access their beloved books. Although physical books have their charm, it's worth considering alternatives such as e-readers and borrowing from the library for various reasons. These methods help you save money and also promote a minimalist and eco-friendly lifestyle. E-readers like Amazon's Kindle have completely transformed how we enjoy books. These devices provide quick and convenient access to a wide range of titles, often at more affordable prices compared to physical copies. E. Books are incredibly convenient as they require no physical space, enabling you to carry an entire library with you, wherever you go. This is especially advantageous for people who love to read, those who frequently travel, or people who reside in compact living spaces. E-readers often come with additional features that can improve your reading experience, such as adjustable font sizes, built in dictionaries and night mode. Libraries, however, offer a vast array of free knowledge and entertainment. Many modern libraries now provide a wide range of resources, including physical books, e-books, and audiobooks that can be borrowed digitally. You can enjoy a wide range of titles without having to buy them or worry about storage space. Libraries also contribute to building a strong community and supporting local infrastructure, making them a socially responsible option. Both options greatly decrease the environmental impact linked to book production and distribution. Books remove the necessity for paper, printing, and shipping, while library books are shared resources that are utilized by many. This decrease in consumption is in line with environmentally conscious values and aids in reducing clutter in your personal space. The savings can be significant from a financial standpoint. Although there is an initial investment required for an e-reader, the cost savings from purchasing e-books and the convenience of borrowing digital titles from libraries can easily make up for this expense. Using the library is completely free except for the occasional late fee. Choosing e-books or borrowing from the library not only saves you money, but also helps to clutter your home reduces your impact on the environment, and promotes sustainable reading habits. Although physical books will always have their appeal, exploring these alternatives for your regular reading can help simplify your literary experience by making it more efficient, affordable, and organized. Lesson 3. Steer clear of purchasing brand new cars because they lose value quickly. There's no denying the appeal of a brand new car. With its pristine exterior, untouched interior, and that coveted new car smell, 
buying a new vehicle can be quite appealing. However, it's important for consumers to carefully consider the financial implications before purchasing a new car. Avoiding the purchase of a brand new car has a compelling reason. The rapid depreciation that happens shortly after buying it. As soon as you take a new car from the dealership, it depreciates significantly in value. Many people are surprised to find that their car can lose up to 20 of its value in just the first year. This is known as drive-off depreciation. After three years, the value of the car may decrease to around 60 of its original price. Buying a new car comes with a downside. The value of the car drops significantly, meaning that new car buyers end up paying more than they should. If you find yourself needing to sell or trade in the vehicle within the first few years of ownership, you'll quickly notice the significant financial impact. If you ever find yourself in a situation where the amount you owe on your car loan is higher than the value of your vehicle, it's commonly referred to as being underwater or having negative equity. Consider buying a gently used vehicle that's a few years old instead of purchasing a brand new car. These cars have already gone through the most significant drop in value so you can buy a top. Notch vehicle for much less than the price of a new one. Late, model used cars often still have remaining factory warranties and can be very similar to brand new cars in terms of features and reliability. You could also consider searching for certified pre-owned vehicles. These cars go through thorough inspections and often include extended warranties, giving you peace of mind similar to buying new but at a much lower price. By opting not to buy a brand new car, you can save a significant amount of money up front and shield yourself from the financial blow of quick depreciation. With this approach, you can use your savings for other financial goals like creating an emergency fund, investing for the future, or even getting a better used vehicle than you could buy new. A car serves the purpose of transportation rather than being an investment. By making a wise decision and avoiding brand new cars, you can have dependable transportation and save money for the things that truly matter in life. Mark had always fantasized about owning a shiny new car. He had been drawn to the appeal of that fresh car scent, the shiny paint, and the cutting-edge technology for quite some time. Upon receiving a promotion at work, he deemed it an opportune moment to indulge himself. He entered the dealership filled with anticipation. The salesman, recognizing Marx's excitement, directed him to the newest model. A stylish sedan equipped with all the latest features. Mark was captivated. He quickly agreed to the purchase after test driving and negotiating, showing no hesitation about the high price. He was now the happy owner of a new car. Mark was extremely happy for the first few weeks. He eagerly offered to be the designated driver for every social gathering enjoying the praise he received for his brand new car. He would often come up with reasons to go out and run errands, simply because he enjoyed driving so much. However, as time passed, the initial excitement started to fade. The car payment, which had initially appeared manageable, now felt burdensome. He was surprised by the higher insurance costs and the impact of premium gas on his budget for the high-performance engine. Curiosity struck Mark one day, prompting him to check the current value of his car. He felt a wave of disappointment. Even though it's less than a year old and in perfect condition, it has already depreciated by nearly 20. He suddenly realized that if he were to sell it at this moment, he would incur a substantial loss. Mark sought advice from his uncle Dave, who is known in the family for his financial expertise. Dave empathized with Mark's situation and proceeded to share his personal experience. I also learned this lesson through personal experience, Dave remarked. Now I prefer to purchase cars that are two or three years old. The items are still in excellent condition, but another person has already absorbed the impact of the initial decrease in value. Dave proceeded to describe his process of researching reliable models, seeking certified pre-owned options with solid warranties, and consistently having a trusted mechanic inspect a car prior to purchase. And what's great, Dave added, is that I can often get a higher-end model for the same price as a new base model. Mark paid close attention, his mind working quickly. He was unable to alter his present circumstances, 
but he could gain knowledge from them. He made the decision to hold on to his car for as long as he could in order to get the most out of its value. He also promised himself that his next car would be a pre-owned one. In the following years, Mark observed how his friends and colleagues also found themselves caught in a similar situation, purchasing new cars and dealing with the quick decline in value. He generously shared his experience and the valuable wisdom he had acquired, guiding others to steer clear of the downside of new car depreciation. Mark decided to take his uncle's advice when it came time to replace his car. He discovered a luxury sedan that was three years old and cost less than the mid-range car he bought years ago. It had all the features he desired and still felt fresh to him, but without the high cost and immediate depreciation. Mark felt satisfied as he drove his recently acquired car home. He had gained a valuable insight into the actual expenses of buying new cars and the benefits of allowing someone else to bear the initial depreciation. His wallet, and his future self, would be grateful for many years to come. Lesson 4. Stop purchasing souvenirs from trips to be more economical and efficient. Traveling is a wonderful experience that expands our perspectives and creates lasting memories. Nevertheless, the desire to purchase souvenirs while on these trips can sometimes result in unnecessary spending and clutter. By changing the way we think about travel souvenirs, we can make our trips more cost, effective, and streamlined. Attractive souvenir shops can be found in convenient locations such as tourist hotspots, airports, and popular destinations, offering a wide selection of trinkets, t-shirts, and local crafts to entice travelers. Many times, these items end up forgotten on shelves or hidden away in drawers once we return home, despite being reminders of our adventures. Purchasing these items can quickly become expensive, taking away from the money that could be used for travel experiences or future trips. Additionally, souvenirs can be quite cumbersome while traveling. They can be quite bulky and may result in extra charges for exceeding weight limits or requiring extra bags. This not only raises travel expenses, but also hampers mobility, particularly for people who prefer to pack light. Instead of buying physical souvenirs, you might want to explore other ways to remember your trips. Photography is a wonderful way to preserve precious moments. Documenting your journey has become a breeze with the convenience of today's smartphone cameras. No need to carry extra equipment anymore. Organize your photos into digital albums or print them in photo books for a personalized and efficient way to revisit your adventures. Choosing to accumulate experiences rather than material possessions can bring greater fulfillment. Spend your budget on exploring local cuisines, joining cultural events, or taking part in unique activities that are specific to your destination. These experiences leave a lasting impression that surpasses any tangible memento. If you're looking for a way to hold on to the memories of your trip, why not gather some small, useful items that you'll actually find handy? Adding a local spice blend to your kitchen, wearing a handcrafted piece of jewelry, or displaying a small artwork can be meaningful ways to remember your travels without creating clutter. Another cost, effective method is to send postcards to yourself or loved ones. These items can be kept as a reminder of your experiences and are compact to store. Resist the temptation to buy souvenirs, and you'll save money while enjoying a smoother and more efficient travel experience. You can fully enjoy your destination and make lasting memories through experiences rather than worrying about collecting material possession. This change in perspective enables a more genuine and fulfilling travel adventure, one that prioritizes meaningful experiences over material souvenirs. Lesson 5. Only purchase the newest technology if it greatly enhances your quality of life. In today's fast-paced world of technological advancements, it's tempting to get swept away by the excitement of the newest gadgets and devices. On the other hand, frequently investing in the latest technology can be an expensive habit that doesn't always yield significant advantages. It is wise to only invest in new technology when it genuinely improves your overall well-being. The tech industry often generates a sense of urgency by marketing small improvements as groundbreaking changes. 
This strategy may cause consumers to perceive their current devices as outdated or insufficient, even if they are still fully functional. Nevertheless, most of these upgrades provide little practical benefits for the average user. Prior to making a hasty purchase of the newest smartphone, laptop, or smart home device, it is important to consider how it will affect your everyday routine. Consider whether this new technology will effectively address a long-standing issue. Will it have a noticeable impact on my productivity or simplify an important task? Does it provide a feature that I truly need and will use frequently? If the answer to these questions is negative, then the purchase may not be worth the investment. Let's take a look at smartphones as an example. Although each new model may have some improvements in camera quality, processing speed, or battery life, these enhancements are usually only slight compared to the previous generation. Most users will find that a phone that's a year or two old is perfectly capable of handling all necessary tasks without any problems. Other technologies such as televisions, computers, and tablets follow the same principle. Furthermore, choosing carefully which tech upgrades to invest in can have beneficial effects that go beyond just saving money. It helps to address the increasing environmental concern of electronic waste. It also allows you to save mental energy that could be used for researching and adapting to new devices so you can concentrate on more meaningful aspects of life. When you're ready to upgrade, seek out technology that provides significant enhancements in the areas that are important to you. For example, if you have trouble with a slow computer that affects your work, upgrading to a faster model could be a good idea. Alternatively, for people with limited mobility, a smart home system can greatly enhance daily life by providing effortless control over the environment. It's worth considering if you can achieve the desired improvement without purchasing new technology. Occasionally, making a software update, getting a repair, or improving your knowledge on how to use your current device more effectively can give you the improvement you're looking for without having to buy something new. By being more selective when it comes to buying technology, you can make sure that the products you choose actually enhance your life. This perspective not only helps to save money, but also fosters a more deliberate and fulfilling connection with technology. Always keep in mind that the purpose of technology is to improve our lives, rather than perpetuating a never-ending cycle of unnecessary consumption. Lesson 6. Less purchasing items on sale unless it is already part of your planned shopping list. It's difficult to resist the temptation of a great sale. Signs that advertise discounts and limited. Time offers are meant to make us feel like we need to act quickly and take advantage of the opportunity, which can sometimes make it difficult to think clearly. Unfortunately, succumbing to these marketing strategies frequently results in wasteful spending and acquiring unnecessary possessions. It's a good idea to only buy sale items that are already on your shopping list. Sales are a smart marketing tactic employed by retailers to enhance their revenue. They appeal to our innate desire for bargains, giving us the impression of saving money even on unplanned purchases. This can result in impulsive purchases that, although satisfying at the time, often lead to regret and cluttered living spaces. Stick to your pre-planned shopping list even when faced with tempting sales. This way, you'll stay in control of your spending and make sure your purchases match your needs and financial goals. This method may require some self-control, but it can result in substantial long-term savings. It's important to approach sales with a thoughtful and discerning mindset rather than making impulsive purchases. Making a shopping list before you go to the store or start shopping online can help you stay on track. When an item on your list is on sale, it means you've truly saved money. This method enables you to take advantage of discounts without being tempted to make unnecessary purchases just because they're on sale. Getting a discount on something you don't really need doesn't mean you're saving money. It's still an expense. When an item is discounted by 50, it's important to remember that you're not actually saving 50, but rather spending the remaining 50. Adopting this change in perspective can assist in reducing the urge to make unnecessary purchases simply because they are discounted.
One approach is to incorporate a waiting period for spontaneous purchases, particularly for items that are not essential. If you come across an item on sale that is not on your list, but you have the urge to purchase it, take a step back and give yourself a full day to consider it. Many times, the desire to make a purchase fades away, and you come to the realization that the item is unnecessary. By avoiding the allure of sales for items not on your list, you'll discover that you have more money to allocate towards your true priorities. This could include saving up for a big purchase, investing for the future, or indulging in experiences that bring long-lasting happiness. The aim is not to completely avoid buying items on sale, but rather to be more conscious of your purchases. Sales provide excellent opportunities to save money on items that are necessary and have been carefully planned for. It's important to approach them with intention and awareness rather than allowing them to control your spending habits. Lisa took great pride in her ability to find the best deals while shopping. She always made sure to never miss a sale, keeping her coupons at the ready, and her email inbox was always full of promotional alerts from her favorite stores. She thought she was being thrifty by buying items on sale. That is, until her credit card bill arrived one month, leaving her surprised and reflecting on her habits. On a regular Saturday, Lisa's phone received a notification. She was thrilled to discover that her favorite online store was having a flash sale with a whopping 70 discount on everything. She wasted no time in opening the app and started scrolling. She was immediately drawn to a fashionable jacket. It wasn't something she required, but at that price, it was impossible to resist. She added it to the cart, along with the kittenware she had been wanting for a while. While Lisa was browsing, her cart unexpectedly filled up with items she hadn't intended to purchase. These included a new yoga mat, even though her old one was still in great condition, a set of scented candles that were too good of a deal to pass up, and a pair of shoes that she wasn't sure would fit, but could be returned if necessary. After two hours, Lisa finally checked out experiencing a blend of excitement and guilt. She attempted to rationalize her purchases by pointing out that everything was on sale. Was she saving money? After a few weeks, Lisa faced a problem when she couldn't find room in her closet for the jacket she had only worn once. It became clear to her that she needed to make a change. The yoga mat was still in its packaging. The candles remained unlit. And unfortunately, the shoes didn't fit properly and she missed the return window. Lisa was determined to break this cycle, so she decided to conduct an experiment. She decided to stop receiving promotional emails and remove shopping apps from her phone. Instead, she made a list of items she actually needed or had been planning to buy for a while. When Lisa received another sale notification, she couldn't resist the temptation to go shopping. However, this time she took a moment to pause and refer to her list, she was in need of new running shoes and found a fantastic deal at the store. After purchasing the shoes, she promptly closed the website, experiencing a newfound sense of empowerment. Over time, Lisa observed noticeable differences. She noticed a decrease in her credit card bill, and her home felt more organized. She discovered a newfound appreciation for and began utilizing the items she purchased more extensively. Surprisingly, she experienced a feeling of liberation. She no longer felt the need to constantly chase the next deal or buy something just because it was on sale. During a casual coffee meetup with her friend Sarah, Lisa excitedly discussed her fresh perspective on shopping. Sarah paid close attention and admitted that she had been facing similar challenges. After hearing Lisa's story, Sarah was motivated to give the same strategy a shot. Months later, the two friends were amazed by the significant changes in their habits. They were able to save more money, make more thoughtful purchases, and experience less stress when shopping. Lisa came to the realization that the key to saving money was not in purchasing discounted items she didn't actually need, but rather in only buying what was necessary and planned for, regardless of any sales or discounts. Lisa and Sarah exchanged a smile as they passed a store adorned with sale signs in the windows. They continued walking, satisfied with the understanding that they were no longer ensnared by the temptation of a great bargain. They discovered something much more precious, 
a sense of financial security and liberation from the never-ending cycle of materialism. Lesson 7. Stop Buying on Impulse or Emotional Spending In today's fast-paced society, it's become more and more common for people to make impulsive purchases and spend money based on their emotions. These behaviors can have a big impact on our financial well-being. These habits can result in buying things you don't really need, collecting too much stuff, and feeling overwhelmed by money problems. By grasping the psychology behind these behaviors and employing strategies to counteract them, we can make more thoughtful spending choices and enhance our overall financial well-being. Impulse buying is when you make purchases on a whim, without thinking them through. It is frequently activated by clever marketing strategies such as time, limited promotions, or strategically positioned products near the checkout areas. Contrastingly, emotional spending is influenced by our emotions. We may engage in shopping to uplift our mood during times of sadness, commemorate achievements, or relieve stress. Both behaviors can lead to purchasing unnecessary items or things we may not genuinely desire. In order to address these habits, it is important to recognize what triggers them. Do you find yourself making more impulsive purchases when you're feeling bored, stressed, or browsing online late at night? By grasping these patterns, you can steer clear of circumstances that result in unnecessary expenditures. Adding a waiting period before making non-essential purchases can be a helpful strategy. Take some time to reflect before making a purchase. Giving yourself 24 hours or even a week to think it over can be helpful. Many times you may notice that your interest in buying something diminishes once you've had a chance to think about whether it really enhances your life. Developing and adhering to a budget can be a highly effective tool. Allocating specific amounts for different spending categories helps you avoid exceeding your limits on impulse buys. It's beneficial to establish financial goals, such as saving for a vacation or creating an emergency fund. Having clear objectives can help you stay focused on your spending and avoid making unnecessary purchases. Consider asking yourself a few important questions before making a purchase. Is this item necessary? Will it have a noticeable impact on my life? Is this a wise financial decision at the moment? These questions are designed to help you differentiate between genuine needs and passing desires. It's crucial to discover healthier methods of dealing with emotions for people who tend to spend impulsively. One way to approach this is by exploring new hobbies, practicing mindfulness, or reaching out to friends and family for support. Keep in mind that although shopping can give you a temporary emotional boost, it often results in feelings of guilt and financial strain in the long term. By opting out of marketing emails and refraining from window shopping, whether online or in person, you can minimize your exposure to temptations. To make it easier to resist impulse purchases online, consider removing your saved payment information from your accounts. This will add an extra step to the buying process and help you think twice before making a purchase. Lastly, remember to appreciate and be thankful for what you already possess. Taking the time to appreciate the things and experiences you're grateful for can help reduce the urge to accumulate more belongings. By implementing strategies to manage impulsive purchases and emotional spending, you'll discover that not only will you save money, but you'll also feel more in control of your financial situation. Embracing mindful spending can bring about a sense of calm, a more organized living space, and the freedom to prioritize what truly matters to you. Lesson 8. It's important to steer clear of investing things that aren't clear or easily comprehensible. If you come across something in the world of investing that seems too complex to grasp, it's best to steer clear and not invest in it. This principle, advocated by renowned investors, such as Warren Buffett, is essential for preserving financial well-being and steering clear of potentially catastrophic investment choices. Understanding investments is crucial, particularly in a time when financial products and schemes are becoming more intricate. When considering investment opportunities, it's common to be attracted to those that offer high returns or innovative ideas. However, if the investment's underlying mechanics are not straightforward or filled with confusing terminology, it's a warning sign that should not be overlooked. 
Not having a clear understanding can lead to missing out on potential gains and significantly increases the risk of substantial losses. Investment products can sometimes be misleading, as they may not clearly disclose all the risks involved. Take, for example, certain financial derivatives and structured products that can have complex payoff structures, which even experienced professionals find challenging to fully grasp. If financial experts find these difficult, it's a clear indication that the average investor should approach with great caution, if at all. In addition, investments that are difficult to comprehend often lack transparency. The lack of transparency can make it challenging to evaluate the actual value and risk associated with the investment. It also creates an environment prone to fraud or mismanagement, as seen in many financial scandals throughout history, where complexity was used to hide wrongdoing. Instead, concentrate on investments that are straightforward and easy to comprehend. If you struggle to explain how an investment generates profits in a concise manner, it may be too intricate for your portfolio. This approach emphasizes the importance of conducting thorough research and gaining a deep understanding before making investment decisions without resorting to overly simplistic strategies. Choosing investments that are easy to understand will help you make better decisions when the market is unpredictable. Understanding your investments allows you to better assess whether changes in their value are driven by fundamental factors or temporary market fluctuations. Having this knowledge can help you avoid making impulsive decisions when the market is down or becoming overly confident when it's up. Investing is about more than just making money. It's important to fund a strategy that matches your comfort level with risk and aligns with your financial objectives. By avoiding investments that are not thoroughly comprehended, you increase your chances of attaining steady, long-term growth while minimizing the risk of significant losses. Have a well-structured investment portfolio that is easy to grasp and understand, as this is a fundamental aspect of effective financial management. It simplifies the process, making it easier for you to make well, inform decisions, and feel more secure in your financial journey. Remember this. If you're unable to explain it, it's best to avoid investing in it. Jake believed he was a knowledgeable investor. Over the years, he had been steadily building his portfolio, primarily focusing on index funds and blue. Chip stocks, however, recently, he had started to feel like he was not taking advantage of larger opportunities. One evening, at a neighborhood barbecue, Jake happened to overhear his neighbor, Tom, bragging about a new investment that was generating remarkable profits. Curious, Jake requested further information. It's a new financial product, Tom explained enthusiastically, something related to algorithmic trading and cryptocurrency derivatives. I don't fully grasp it, but my broker is convinced it's the next big thing. Jake was both skeptical and curious. He had always been careful with his investments, but the allure of high returns was hard to resist. Although Jake didn't have a complete understanding of the concept, he chose to conduct some research. In the following days, Jake immersed himself in articles and videos regarding this new investment. As he continued reading, his confusion only grew. The explanations were convoluted and full of unclear assurances. However, the projected returns were incredibly high. Despite his reservations, Jake made the choice to invest a large portion of his savings. He reasoned that occasionally, one must be willing to take risks in order to make progress. Moreover, if his neighbor was able to do it, it couldn't be that risky, right? Initially, everything appeared to be going well. Jake was pleased with the monthly statements, which displayed significant gains. He felt a sense of accomplishment for taking advantage of this opportunity. He even began contemplating investing additional funds into it. However, the situation quickly changed. One morning, Jake was greeted with news of a significant financial scandal. The company responsible for the investment product was revealed to have engaged in fraudulent practices. The algorithm they had promoted turned out to be a deceptive Ponzi scheme. Jake attempted to withdraw his money in a state of panic, only to find that it was already too late. The company had halted all financial activities, leaving investors uncertain about the future.
Jake felt a wave of anxiety as he came to the realization that he could potentially lose all of his investments. As the scandal unraveled, Jake discovered that numerous people, including himself, had invested in something they lacked a complete understanding of. The true nature and risks of the product were intentionally obscured by its complexity. As Jake collaborated with other investors to recoup their losses in the coming months, he took the opportunity to reflect on his error. He had broken a basic rule of investing. Never invest in something you are not familiar with. Tom, Jake's neighbor, was in a similar situation. They frequently sympathized over their common misfortune, as well as the valuable lesson they had gained. If I can't easily explain an investment to my grandmother in a few straightforward sentences, Tom said one day, I won't go near it. Jake gradually started rebuilding his portfolio, focusing on investments that he could easily comprehend and articulate. He started advocating in his community, sharing his story as a warning about the risks of investing in complicated and unclear financial products. Years later, when Jake's daughter sought his investment advice, he kindly advised her to invest in things she comprehends. If something seems overly complicated or too good to be true, it likely is. Understanding things clearly is the best way to protect yourself. Jake found comfort as he observed his portfolio steadily growing over time, becoming more transparent. The returns may not have been as thrilling as those promised by the mysterious investment, but the peace of mind that came from knowing exactly where his money was and how it was being utilized was far more valuable than any get. Rich, quick scheme. Lesson 9. Instead of going for trendy, disposable fashion, choose those that are well-made and built to last. In today's fast-paced fashion world, it's common to find ourselves caught in the cycle of purchasing inexpensive, trendy garments that lose their appeal or deteriorate rapidly. On the other hand, a smarter and more cost-effective way to approach fashion is to choose high-quality items that are designed to withstand the test of time. This change in perspective not only helps you save money in the long term, but also has positive effects on the environment and possibly on your personal style. There's no denying the appeal of fashionable clothing that's both affordable and on-trend. It enables customers to stay updated with quickly evolving trends without spending too much money. Unfortunately, this method often results in a wardrobe full of clothes that lose their charm and quality quickly, perpetuating a cycle of excessive consumption and waste. On the other hand, there are many benefits to be gained from investing in high-quality, durable clothing. Although the upfront cost may be higher, these items tend to be more cost. Effective in the long run, durable clothing retains its shape, color, and overall appearance for a longer period of time compared to cheaper options, which means you won't have to replace them as often. This extended lifespan not only helps you save money, but also reduces the environmental impact linked to the production and disposal of clothing. High-quality clothing is usually made from top-notch materials and constructed using superior techniques. As a result, the garments have increased durability, enhanced comfort, and improved aesthetics when worn. Well-made clothes can enhance your confidence and satisfaction, resulting in a more positive connection with your wardrobe. Choosing durable fashion promotes a more mindful approach to personal style. By avoiding the pursuit of passing fads, you can create a wardrobe that truly embodies your personal style and lifestyle. Having a cohesive and versatile collection of clothes can make putting together outfits a breeze and eliminate the stress of feeling like you have nothing to wear. Begin by identifying your personal style and the types of clothing you wear most frequently in order to transition towards a wardrobe of lasting pieces. Choose high-quality basics that serve as the building blocks of your wardrobe. Seek out timeless designs in neutral shades that can be effortlessly combined and coordinated. It's important to consider the quality of fabrics, stitching, and overall construction when making purchases. When shopping, it's important to think about the cost per wear instead of solely focusing on the price tag. Choosing a pricier item that you'll use often over a long period of time can actually be a smarter financial decision compared to opting for a cheaper item 
that you'll only wear a few times before getting rid of it. Look for reputable brands that are known for their high quality and long lasting products. It's always a good idea to check out reviews or ask for recommendations to make sure you're making a wise choice. It's important to give your clothes the care they deserve in order to make them last longer. It's important to carefully follow care instructions as well as invest in proper storage solutions. Additionally, you may want to consider learning some basic mending skills to help with minor damages. Opting for high quality, durable fashion instead of fleeting trends allows you to express your values through your style. You value quality over quantity, sustainability over wastefulness, and timeless style over fleeting trends. This fashion approach can result in a wardrobe that is more satisfying and less cluttered. It also helps reduce your environmental impact and encourages a more mindful approach to consumption in all aspects of life. Lesson 10. Reduce the number of time you eat out and instead prepare meals at home. In today's busy world, dining out or getting takeout has become a popular routine for many people. Although it may be convenient, this lifestyle can have a significant impact on both your finances and health. By making the choice to eat at home more often and cook your own meals, you can experience a wide range of advantages that go beyond just financial savings. Making meals at home is a great way to save money. Restaurant meals can be quite expensive, especially when you factor in markups, tips, and delivery fees. Cooking at home gives you complete control over the ingredients and portions, helping you budget more efficiently. By purchasing groceries in larger quantities and carefully organizing your meals, you can significantly extend your food budget and potentially save hundreds of dollars every month. In addition to the financial advantages, cooking at home provides significant health benefits. Preparing your own meals gives you full control over the ingredients, enabling you to make healthier choices. It's possible to lower the levels of salt, sugar, and unhealthy fats in your diet, while also increasing your consumption of fresh fruits and vegetables. This level of control is especially advantageous for people who have specific dietary needs or health considerations. Preparing meals in your own kitchen allows you to cultivate a practical life skill. As you gain confidence in the kitchen, you'll probably start trying out different recipes and exploring new cuisines, broadening your culinary horizons. Meal preparation can become a delightful hobby making it a fun and fulfilling experience. Home. Cooked meals can also help strengthen family bonds. Sharing meals at home allows for meaningful conversations and connections that may be overlooked when dining out or getting takeout. Inviting friends over for a home-cooked meal is a fantastic way for those living alone to socialize without spending money on dining out. To make the transition to more home cooked meals, Begin by planning your meals for the week. This tool simplifies grocery shopping and minimizes the urge to eat out when feeling tired or uncertain about what to cook. Get started with cooking by investing in essential cooking equipment and stocking up on versatile ingredients for your pantry. Starting with simple recipes is a great way to begin your cooking journey. Even basic home-cooked meals can be healthier and more cost-effective compared to eating out at restaurants. Batch cooking and meal prepping are excellent strategies for people with busy schedules. With a little planning and some smart storage techniques, you can ensure that you always have delicious homemade meals available even when you're pressed for time. Slow cookers and instant pots are great tools for making hassle-free meals. Although it may not be feasible or preferable for everyone to completely eliminate eating out, reducing its frequency can have a significant positive effect. Reserving restaurant meals for special occasions or social gatherings can make them more meaningful when you do indulge. When you decide to cook more meals at home, you're not only saving money, but also taking steps towards better health, gaining a valuable skill, and potentially enhancing your quality of life. Embracing the path of cooking more meals at home may require some initial adjustment, but the lasting advantages for your finances, health, and overall happiness make it a valuable pursuit. Sarah excelled at her law firm, but her packed schedule made it difficult to find time for cooking. On most nights, she would often order takeout or meet clients for dinner at fancy restaurants. It was convenient, 
but she couldn't overlook the impact it had on her well-being and finances. On a Sunday, during a visit to her parents, Sarah was amazed as she observed her mother effortlessly cooking a delicious meal for the family. How do you manage to do this on a daily basis? Sarah inquired. Her mother had a smile on her face. Planning and practice are key, my friend. How about beginning with something more manageable? Give cooking at home a shot once a week. Feeling motivated, Sarah decided to give it a try. For her first attempt, she decided to go with a straightforward pasta recipe. Although it wasn't flawless, the sense of accomplishment from crafting something on her own was undeniable. Sarah felt motivated to gradually increase the number of home-cooked meals she prepared. She stumbled upon the concept of meal prepping on Sundays, which proved to be a time. Saving solution for her hectic week. She even began hosting dinner parties at her home instead of going out to eat. Over time, Sarah observed noticeable transformations. Her credit card bills saw a significant decrease. She experienced an improvement in her overall well-being and noticed an increase in her energy levels. Her co-workers noticed a significant improvement in her ability to concentrate on her tasks. During a routine trip to the grocery store, Sarah unexpectedly bumped into Tom, a fellow lawyer known for his lavish way of living. He was taken aback by her presence. I had no idea you knew how to cook, he commented. Sarah's face broke into a smile. It's a recent update. Would you like to have dinner with me? I'm preparing my signature lasagna. Tom was unsure, but he agreed. During dinner, he was pleasantly surprised by the exceptional quality of the meal. I have to admit, this is better than most restaurants, he confessed. Sarah eagerly recounted her journey, buoyed by Tom's praise. She described how cooking at home not only saved her money, but also became a therapeutic hobby that helped her relax after long work days. Curious, Tom inquired about some pointers to begin. Sarah was eager to pass on her knowledge, covering everything from fundamental cooking techniques to effective meal planning strategies. Over the next few weeks, Sarah observed a shift in the office atmosphere. Many co-workers started bringing their own homemade lunches, sharing recipes, and even planning potluck dinners. She was filled with pride at the thought of having ignited this minor revolution. One year later, Sarah found herself unexpectedly interviewed by the local paper regarding her work, Life Balance. When questioned about her secret, she let out a small laugh. It all began with a decision to start cooking more meals at home. It's truly remarkable how a single, minor adjustment can completely revolutionize your entire existence. While stirring a pot of soup that evening, Sarah thought about her journey. Starting as a way to save money. This endeavor evolved into a deep passion that brought fulfillment to both her physical and spiritual well-belling. She was delighted by the scent of homemade meals, which had replaced the odor of takeout containers. Sarah discovered that by cutting back on dining out, she experienced numerous benefits beyond just saving money. She had stumbled upon a new skill, made progress with her health, and established a means of connecting with others. Preparing meals at home had completely transformed her life in ways she never anticipated. Lesson 11. Reducing Holiday Gifts and Unnecessary Purchases The holiday season can sometimes lead to a rush of gift giving and spending, which can put a strain on both finances and emotions. Although giving gifts is a lovely tradition, the expectation to buy multiple presents can result in unnecessary spending, financial strain, and harm to the environment. By changing the way we think about holiday gifting and reducing unnecessary purchases, we can make our celebrations more meaningful and lessen the impact on our finances and the environment. Establishing Gift Giving limits within families and friend groups can be a helpful strategy. One way to simplify gift. Giving is by setting a maximum spending amount, only exchanging gifts among children, or using a secret Santa system where each person buys for just one other individual. Arrangements like these can greatly decrease the amount of gifts bought, all while keeping the essence of giving intact. It may be helpful to consider redirecting your attention towards experiences 
or charitable donations instead of material gifts. Experiences like concert tickets. Experiences like concert tickets, cooking classes, or spa days make for unforgettable memories and avoid adding to clutter. Likewise, donating to meaningful causes in someone's name can be a thoughtful way to honor them while supporting important work. If you prefer to give physical gifts, it's important to focus on quality rather than quantity. Select meaningful, long-lasting items that resonate with the recipient's passions and principles. This method not only helps to minimize waste, but also tends to lead to gifts that are highly valued and practical in the long run. Creating your own gifts can be a fantastic option instead of purchasing them from a store. Gifts like baked goods, crafted items, or personalized photo albums hold a special place in our hearts. They show the thought and effort put into creating something unique and meaningful. In addition, they are usually more budget friendly and have a positive impact on the environment. During the holiday season, it's important to be aware of marketing strategies that aim to tempt you into making impulsive purchases that you don't really need. Develop a budget for your holiday expenses and make sure to adhere to it. Consider whether a purchase is truly essential or if it's influenced by fleeting emotions or persuasive advertising before making a decision. Don't make purchases just because they're discounted. Although discounts may be alluring, buying unnecessary items is never a good deal. Instead, take advantage of sales to buy items that you've already been planning to purchase. Implementing a waiting period for non-essential purchases could be a helpful strategy. Consider waiting for at least 24 hours before making a purchase if you find something you're interested in. Many times, the desire to make a purchase fades away and you come to the realization that the item is unnecessary. There's no need to worry about losing the joy of the season just because you're cutting back on holiday gifts and unnecessary purchases. Instead, it enables us to prioritize what truly matters, cherishing moments with loved ones, showing appreciation, and establishing meaningful traditions. When we consume less, we often discover that we can enjoy more during the holiday season. It becomes a time filled with meaningful connections rather than excessive consumerism. By adopting this mindful approach to holiday spending, you can experience a decrease in stress, a reduction in clutter, and improved financial stability as you transition into the new year. It also serves as a great role model for children and others in your life, highlighting that the real essence of the season is about being generous, considerate, and united rather than focusing on excessive consumption. Lesson 12. Embrace the Sharing Economy The sharing economy, also called collaborative consumption, is a strong economic model that is changing how we access and use resources. This new approach to consumption promotes the idea of sharing, renting, or borrowing goods and services instead of owning them outright. Embracing the sharing economy can lead to cost savings, waste reduction, and a stronger sense of community. The sharing economy is based on the concept that access is prioritized over ownership. This concept can be applied to a variety of goods and services, including transportation, accommodation, tools, and clothing. Some well-known examples include ride-sharing services such as Uber, home-sharing platforms like Airbnb, and Tool, lending libraries in local communities. Cost savings are one of the main advantages of taking part in the sharing economy. Renting or borrowing items that you only need occasionally can help you avoid the expenses of owning them, such as the upfront cost, maintenance, and storage. For example, opting to rent a car as needed instead of owning, one can lead to significant savings on insurance, parking, and maintenance expenses. This is particularly beneficial for people residing in urban areas with reliable public transportation options. The sharing economy also encourages a more efficient utilization of resources. A lot of the things we own, like power tools and formal wear, don't get used very often. Sharing these items within a community can help maximize their usefulness and decrease the necessity for each household to possess every item they might require. 
This efficiency can result in substantial reductions in waste and environmental impact. Embracing the sharing economy can also help strengthen community bonds. Platforms that enable peer to peer sharing can provide chances for people to connect and engage with their local community. Sharing tools, community gardens, and local skill sharing initiatives can foster connections among people, enhancing social ties, and building a stronger community fabric. There are plenty of opportunities in the sharing economy for those who want to earn some extra income. There are several ways to generate extra income, such as renting out a spare room, sharing your car when it's not in use, or offering your skills and time on gig economy platform. This flexibility enables people to generate income from their assets and skills in ways that were previously unattainable. Begin by evaluating your personal requirements and belongings in order to fully embrace the sharing economy. Do you have any items that you don't use often and could potentially be shared or rented out? Do you have any services or goods that you pay for regularly that could be accessed more efficiently through sharing platforms? Explore the various sharing options in your area ranging from official platforms to local community groups. Having an open mind and being willing to try new things is crucial when it comes to embracing the sharing economy. Although it may seem unfamiliar initially, many people discover that once they begin participating, the advantages become evident rapidly. It is important to always prioritize safety and adhere to the guidelines and best practices of any sharing platform you use. Like any economic model, the sharing economy has its fair share of challenges. These include regulatory issues and concerns about worker protections in certain sectors. We should all stay informed about these issues and work towards promoting fair practices in the sharing economy. Embracing the sharing economy can lead us to a more sustainable, efficient, and connected way of living. It provides a way to decrease our environmental footprint, save money, and foster stronger communities. This model has the potential to significantly alter our relationship with consumption and ownership, leading to a more collaborative and sustainable economic future. Lesson 13. Before replacing broken items, learn basic repair skills or find local repair services. In our society that tends to discard things easily, the immediate response to a broken item is often to find a replacement. Nevertheless, this method not only incurs high expenses, but also adds to environmental waste. By acquiring some basic repair skills or finding local repair services, we can prolong the lifespan of our belongings, save money, and minimize our environmental footprint. Repairing things is a skill that has become less common in recent times. There are ways to repair items that may seem beyond saving using basic tools and techniques. Mastering these fundamental repair skills can be incredibly empowering and fulfilling. Begin by tackling basic repairs such as sewing buttons, patching clothes, or securing a loose handle on furniture. Once you feel more comfortable, you can progress to more challenging tasks such as repairing basic electronics or maintaining household appliances. There are plenty of resources out there for people who want to learn repair skills. There are plenty of resources available online that provide step by-step guides for fixing a variety of items. You can find workshops on basic home and appliance repairs at local community centers or hardware stores. Devoting time to learning these skills can have substantial long-term benefits, both in terms of financial gain and personal independence. If you're dealing with repairs that are more complex, it might be a good idea to look for local repair services instead of immediately thinking about replacing the item. Skilled craftspeople in many communities are adept at repairing a wide range of items, including shoes, clothing, electronics, and furniture. Local businesses often provide a more personalized service and have the ability to give a second chance to items that might otherwise be thrown away. Repair cafes are becoming increasingly popular in many areas. These community events provide an opportunity for people to bring their broken items and collaborate with skilled volunteers to fix them. These events not only help save money and reduce waste, but they also promote a strong sense of community and encourage the sharing of skills. When making purchases, it's important to consider repairability as part of a repair. First Mindset 
Seek out durable items that can be repaired with ease. Consider choosing products that offer replaceable batteries, modular designs, or are made by companies with favorable repair policies. Our focus on repair rather than replacement not only helps us save money in the short term, but also promotes a more sustainable approach to consumption. This mindset shift prompts us to appreciate our possessions on a deeper level, recognizing the effort and resources invested in their creation. In addition, there is a great sense of satisfaction that comes from repairing items. It helps us develop a stronger connection with our belongings and encourages a feeling of achievement. Engaging children in repair tasks can be a great way to teach them problem, solving skills, and the importance of looking after their things. Before hastily replacing a broken item, take a moment to consider if it can be repaired. Learning basic repair skills or finding local repair services can help us save money, reduce waste, and contribute to a more sustainable economy. This approach has the added advantage of being budget friendly and promoting a mindset of conscious consumption and resourcefulness. Ethan let out a sigh as he gazed upon his grandmother's damaged antique clock. Months had passed in silence, and he had been avoiding addressing the issue. He initially considered replacing it with a more modern version, but the sentimental value prevented him from doing so. While heading to work, Ethan spotted a little shop that had previously escaped his notice. The sign displayed the name Marco's Repair Emporium. Curious, he made the decision to enter. The shop was filled with a variety of items that were in the process of being repaired. Marco, the man behind the counter, had a gentle gaze and hands that showed years of hard work. Ethan described his clock problem, and Marco's face brightened with interest. Bring it here, Marco said. I'll examine the issue, and even better, I'll demonstrate how you can resolve it on your own. Ethan agreed, intrigued by the proposition. The following day, he took the clock to the shop. Marco took the time to carefully explain each step while they worked together to fix it. Ethan was amazed when, by the end of the afternoon, the clock started ticking again. After this experience, Ethan started to view broken items from a new perspective. He began attending Marco's weekly repair workshops, where he learned how to fix a wide range of items, including electronics and furniture. As Ethan's skills improved, he became more conscious of the unnecessary waste generated from frequently replacing items. He initiated a repair cafe at his workplace, where he encouraged his colleagues to bring in broken items for a collaborative fixing session. The initiative was quickly embraced by many. Colleagues were taking matters into their own hands, ensuring the longevity of office equipment, and exchanging helpful repair advice during lunch breaks. The company's spending on new equipment decreased significantly. Ethan's newly acquired skills also had an effect on his personal life. He willingly assisted his neighbor in restoring an old bicycle, resolved his sister's laptop issues, and successfully repaired his own washing machine. With every repair he successfully completed, his confidence grew, and he saved money in the process. One day, as Ethan was repairing a colleague's headphones, he had a moment of realization about how his perspective had shifted. What was once considered disposable is now seen as a chance to gain knowledge and generate worth. Ethan's repair revolution had a far-reaching impact beyond his immediate circle. Local repair businesses experienced a surge in customers as people recognized the benefits of repairing rather than replacing. The community began arranging swap meets for spare parts and tools. One year later, Ethan received an invitation to give a talk at a nearby school on the topic of sustainability. As he recounted his transition from a mindset of replacing everything to one of prioritizing repairs, he noticed a growing sense of enthusiasm in the student's eyes. Ethan's story has motivated a new generation to see broken items as chances for innovation rather than just waste. The school initiated a young fixers club, resulting in children revitalizing old toys and gadgets. While making his way home that evening, Ethan happened to pass by Marco's shop. The old clockmaker beamed with pride and gave him a thumbs up. 
Ethan came to the realization that his newfound skill in repairing not only fixed objects, but also contributed to reducing the throw, a way culture in his community. As he stepped into his home, the rhythmic ticking of his grandmother's clock welcomed him. It served as a constant reminder that with some skill and patience, broken things, and maybe even society's attitudes, could be fixed and restored. Lesson 14. Unsubscribe from Promotional Marketing Emails In today's fast-paced digital world, our email inboxes can quickly become flooded with promotional messages from different companies and brands. Most of these emails add to the mess in your inbox and can tempt you into making impulsive purchases, even though some may have useful information or deals. By opting out of these promotional marketing emails, you can easily take back control of your inbox and potentially enhance your financial habits. We are inundated with a massive number of marketing emails. Every message is meticulously designed to capture our attention and instill a feeling of urgency, often persuading us to make unplanned or unnecessary purchases. This can create unnecessary clutter in our digital space and also have a negative impact on our budget, not to mention adding to the physical clutter in our homes. Begin the process of decluttering your inbox by dedicating a block of time to sorting through your emails and pinpointing the origins of promotional material. Typically, marketing emails have a unsubscribe link that is usually found at the bottom of the message. Just click on the link provided and follow the instructions to unsubscribe from the mailing list. Gmail and other email services provide a convenient option to unsubscribe at the top of the email. If you're looking for a more efficient solution, you might want to try using email management tools or browser extensions that are specifically designed to make unsubscribing from multiple lists easier. With these tools, you can effortlessly scan your inbox and get a comprehensive list of all your subscriptions. This makes it a breeze to unsubscribe from multiple sources, saving you time and effort. Once you've unsubscribed, you may realize that there are certain promotional emails that you actually find yourself missing. Consider following these companies on social media instead in these cases. By using this method, you can easily keep yourself updated on important sales or new products without being constantly bombarded in your inbox. If you want to make sure you only receive newsletters or updates that you find truly valuable, it might be helpful to use a separate email address specifically for subscriptions. By using this feature, you can keep your primary inbox free for personal and important messages, while still having the option to review promotional content at your convenience. You won't miss out on any good deals if you unsubscribe from promotional emails. If you want to make a purchase, you can easily stay informed about a company's current promotions by checking their website or social media. This method empowers you to take charge, instead of allowing marketers to dictate your purchasing decisions. When you receive fewer promotional emails, you'll notice a decrease in impulse purchases and feel less pressure to constantly buy. You can save a lot of money in the long run and feel more in control of your spending habits. You have complete control over what comes into your inbox. Create a digital environment that aligns with your needs and goals instead of catering to the marketing objectives of different companies. By opting out of promotional marketing emails, you can easily declutter your inbox and potentially improve your financial habits. Olivia's phone kept buzzing nonstop while she attempted to concentrate on her work. Every notification brought with it another promotional email, enticing her with flash sales, limited, time offers, and exclusive deals. Her inbox had become a never-ending stream of distractions and temptations, resulting in impulsive purchases that she would later come to regret. One afternoon, Olivia was feeling overwhelmed as she tried to locate an important work email amidst a flood of promotions. She had reached her breaking point. She made the decision to switch things up. Olivia took a deep breath and started the task of unsubscribing from promotional emails. She was surprised to find out the number of mailing lists she had unknowingly subscribed to over the years. Various fashion brands, tech companies, travel agencies, and even stores she had only visited once all vied for her attention. 
As she efficiently worked through her inbox, Olivia experienced a range of emotions. She felt a slight sense of unease as she fretted about potentially missing out on great bargains. With every unsubscribe click, she also experienced a growing sense of relief. As time went by, Olivia observed a noticeable transformation. She noticed a decrease in the frequency of her phone notifications, and her email inbox became easier to handle. She noticed an improvement in her concentration at work, and a decrease in her impulse to buy unnecessary things. Olivia was pleasantly surprised to find that she didn't long for the overwhelming flood of promotions. She would actively search for what she needed instead of being influenced by attention. Grabbing Email Subject Lines Olivia's recent experience with finding digital peace motivated her to expand her detox to other aspects of her life. She decided to stop following brands on social media and removed shopping apps from her phone. The never-ending buzz of consumerism gradually subsided, giving way to a peaceful and empowering feeling. Olivia's friends observed a noticeable change in her. Her attention during conversations improved as she stopped constantly checking her phone. Olivia was eager to share her experience of unsubscribing from promotional emails when asked about her secret. Maya was curious and decided to give it a try. Before long, a modest movement started within their social circle. They even made it a fun competition, seeing who could unsubscribe from the highest number of emails in just one week. After several months, Olivia took a moment to think about the transformations that had occurred in her life. She noticed a significant decrease in her impulse purchases and started saving money without feeling like she was missing out on anything. What's even more significant is that she experienced a feeling of liberation. She no longer offered her attention to the highest bidder. Olivia smiled as she sat in a cafe, engrossed in a book rather than mindlessly scrolling through emails on her phone. With just a click of the unsubscribe button, she was able to regain her time, attention, and peace of mind. Her inbox, which used to cause her stress and temptation, had transformed into a useful tool that now catered to her needs instead of marketers. Olivia came to the realization that in a world filled with constant distractions, choosing to step back can be a powerful and meaningful choice. After completing her inbox detox, she not only decluttered her email, but also created mental space for what truly mattered. Lesson 15. Practice a 30-day rule before buying anything. In today's fast-paced society, impulsive buying has become more prevalent, often resulting in regret and unnecessary expenses. Financial experts suggest using the 30-day rule, a strategy that can help you spend more thoughtfully and differentiate between what you truly need and what you just want in the moment. The 30-day rule is quite clear. If you have the desire to purchase something that is not essential, just hold off for 30 days before actually buying it, during this cooling. Off-period, you can assess whether the item is truly worth purchasing or if it's just a fleeting impulse. Take a moment to reflect and ask yourself some important questions. Is this something I truly need? Will it have a noticeable impact on my life? Is the cost justified? Is it within my budget without causing financial strain? By implementing this strategy, you can give your rational mind the opportunity to take control and make informed decisions, rather than acting on impulse or emotion. Many times, the initial excitement fades and you come to realize that the item isn't as necessary as you initially believed. By adopting this practice, you can save a lot of money and declutter your living space. To successfully implement the 30-day rule, it's helpful to maintain a list of items you're tempted to purchase. Make sure to record the date when you added each item and then review the list again after 30 days. It's interesting how many items lose their appeal over time. During the waiting period, take the opportunity to conduct thorough research, look for the best deals, read reviews, and consider alternative options for the items you still want. It's worth mentioning that the 30-day rule doesn't mean you have to completely avoid making any purchases. Instead, it's important to make sure that your spending is in line with your values and financial objectives. It is completely acceptable to make a purchase even after the waiting period, if you believe it is worth it. 
What's important here is that you've allowed yourself ample time to carefully consider your options. For certain people, a 30-day duration may seem lengthy, particularly for smaller purchases. You have the flexibility to customize the time frame to suit your needs, whether that's a 7-day or 14-day rule. Keep the principle in mind. Introduce a pause between wanting to make a purchase and actually making the purchase. Adopting the 30-day rule may pose a challenge initially, particularly if you're used to making impulsive buying choices. With time and consistency, this habit can become valuable and lead to more intentional spending and greater financial well-being. Reflecting on potential purchases can lead to greater satisfaction in the items you buy and more financial freedom in your life. Lesson 16. Invest in experiences, not things. In today's society, where material possessions often take center stage, a wealth of research indicates that prioritizing experiences over material things can result in enhanced long-term happiness and satisfaction. This change in viewpoint not only improves our quality of life, but also allows us to make better use of our financial resources. Experiences shape our identity in a profound way, unlike material possessions. Experiences, such as traveling to new destinations, learning new skills, or attending cultural events, have a profound impact on our worldview and personal growth. They have the power to create lasting memories that we can revisit and share with others. These memories often become more valuable over time as they become an integral part of our life story. On the other hand, material possessions often lose their appeal quite rapidly. Over time, our enthusiasm for a new purchase tends to diminish as we become accustomed to having it around. Psychologists refer to this as hedonic adaptation. What was once exciting and new eventually becomes commonplace and unimpressive. Physical items can also break, become outdated, or clutter our living spaces, which can cause stress instead of bringing joy. Experiences also have the benefit of fostering social connections. Experiences that are shared with friends, family, or even strangers have the power to strengthen bonds and foster a sense of community. Talking about shared experiences like going to a concert, going hiking, or taking a cooking class can often be more interesting and help build stronger relationships than discussing material possessions. From a financial perspective, investing in experiences can be more cost-effective in the long run. The long-term advantages of an experience such as lasting memories, personal development, and overall life fulfillment, often surpass the initial cost, even when compared to buying a physical item. Furthermore, looking forward to an upcoming experience can bring joy and excitement well in advance, prolonging the happiness gained from the purchase. Begin by discovering what truly brings you joy and fulfillment in order to transition towards investing in experiences. There is a wide range of activities available including outdoor adventures, cultural explorations, personal development courses, and creative pursuits. It's a good idea to set aside some of your extra money for experiences, just like you would for other expenses. It's worth mentioning that investing in experiences, investing in experiences giving instead up material of material possessions entirely. can lead to personal growth. Certain physical items, meaning such as hobby equipment or and long lasting tools, happiness, can enhance and enrich experiences, experiences. hold more value and shape it's our identity. It's important to keep in mind the reason for each purchase and focus on as those they bring that allow lasting for meaningful experiences and enrichment to our lives. And personal development. Alex found themselves in a Alex busy left mall. the mall without inside catching or looking at another gadget or sales or Alex was filled Jamie. with enthusiasm. What if he was determined to find the ideal present for Jamie? He recalled the show showcased captivating images of breathtaking destinations. As he went from one store he to another, he discovered a nearby diving school that provided a certification course. An idea of every potential purchase seemed empty. On Jamie's birthday, Alex handed over a straightforward envelope. Jamie's confusion quickly transformed into delight as he perused the comprehensive information provided for the scuba diving course. Wow, this is really impressive, Jamie excitedly exclaimed, already envisioning the exciting adventures that awaited beneath the surface. Alex and Jamie attended the course together for the next few weeks. On weekends, they dedicated their time to learning diving theory, honing their skills in pools, and eventually embarking on their first open water dives. 
The shared experience brought them closer, forging memories and inside jokes that would be treasured for years to come. After seeing how well his gift turned out, Alex started to think about his own spending habits. He came to the realization that many of his purchases remained untouched, while the memories of his travels, concerts, and classes continued to bring him happiness, long after they were over. He began prioritizing spending his extra money on experiences. Instead of purchasing the newest smartphone, he opted for a photography workshop. Instead of investing in a new TV, he decided to put the money towards a cooking class in Italy. Every experience he had enhanced his life in ways that no physical possession could compare to. It was clear that Alex had shifted their priorities. His stories captivated friends and family, who were delighted by the happiness these experiences brought him. Before long, more people in his social circle started to do the same, opting for concert tickets instead of new clothes, or language classes instead of the latest gadgets. Alex planned a hiking trip to celebrate his 31st birthday with a group. As they gathered around the campfire, exchanging stories and laughter beneath the starry sky, he pondered how his life had grown more fulfilling since he began prioritizing meaningful experiences. Years later, Alex's apartment lacked extravagant possessions or cutting-edge gadgets. On the contrary, the walls were decorated with captivating photos of exciting adventures shelves filled with cherished souvenirs from various travels, and a calendar brimming with exciting upcoming events. He came to the realization that although objects may break, go out of style, or be forgotten, the memories and personal growth gained from experiences would remain with him indefinitely. As he looked through a photo album, reminiscing about scuba diving with Jamie and stargazing in the mountains, Alex couldn't help but smile. He had stumbled upon a powerful realization— that the most valuable investments are not material possessions, but rather experiences that bring happiness, personal development, and lasting memories. Lesson 17. Utilize Cashback and Rewards Programs Wisely Cashback and Rewards Programs are now widely available in today's consumer-driven world, being offered by credit cards, retailers, and various service providers. When utilized strategically, these programs can offer substantial financial advantages, enabling you to save money on purchases you had already intended to make. However, it's important to approach these programs with caution to make the most of their advantages and avoid unnecessary expenses. To make the most of cashback and rewards programs, it's important to have a clear understanding of the terms and conditions associated with program. Credit cards and retailers have different rewards programs that offer varying benefits for different types of purchases. Some credit cards have rotating categories that change every quarter, while others have fixed rates for specific types of spending. By becoming familiar with these details, you can effectively utilize the appropriate card or program for each purchase in order to optimize your rewards. The main goal of these programs is to promote spending. It's important to resist the temptation of making unnecessary purchases just to earn rewards. It's important to only purchase items that you would have bought regardless of any rewards being offered. Spending additional funds to earn rewards ultimately undermines the goal of saving. Pay your credit card balance in full every month when it comes to credit card rewards. The interest charges on carried balances usually exceed any rewards earned. If you're carrying a balance, it might be a good idea to switch to a low interest card that doesn't offer rewards until you can pay off your debt. Several rewards programs allow you to exchange your points for various items. However, there are other ways to make better use of your points. Typically, opting for cashback or travel rewards offers more value. Prior to redeeming, it's important to compare the dollar value of various redemption options to make sure you're getting the best value. Maximizing your benefits can be achieved by stacking rewards. This requires the consolidation of various rewards programs into one for a single purchase. For instance, you can utilize a cashback credit card to buy something from an online store that gives you extra points, and at the same time, take advantage of a separate cashback promotion. It's important to carefully review the details, as certain programs may not permit stacking. 
Be sure to look for sign-up bonuses when you're thinking about getting a new credit card or signing up for retailer programs. It's important to consider whether you can meet the spending requirements without straining your budget, as these offers can provide significant value. It's a good idea to regularly check your rewards programs. As time goes on, your spending habits may evolve, and a program that used to work for you might not be the most suitable option anymore. Feel free to consider switching to a different card or program if you come across one that more closely matches your current spending patterns. Lastly, remember to keep track of the expiration dates for your points or cashback rewards. Certain programs may have a policy where points expire if they are not used within a specific time frame. Make sure to set reminders to regularly check your rewards balances and redeem them before they expire. You can transform your everyday spending into significant savings through cashback and rewards programs. Keep in mind that these programs should be used as a tool to improve your financial well-being, rather than as a justification to increase your spending. By strategically planning and being mindful of your spending, you can maximize the benefits of these rewards, ultimately saving more money without having to make any major adjustments to your budget. Lesson 18 Adopt a Minimalist Mindset Embracing a minimalist mindset can provide a refreshing and potentially life-changing approach to living in a world of constant consumption and accumulation. Minimalism goes beyond simply having fewer possessions. It's a philosophy that promotes intentionality in every aspect of life, including material belongings, time commitments, and relationships. At its essence, Minimalism revolves around the idea of prioritizing what truly brings value to your life and getting rid of everything else. This does not imply living a strict and rigid lifestyle, but rather making conscious choices about what you incorporate into your life. Embracing minimalism allows for a reduction in clutter, stress, and financial strain, while also increasing clarity, freedom, and satisfaction. Assessing your current possessions is an important initial step in adopting a minimalist mindset. Take a moment to observe your living space and consider, does each item have a clear purpose or bring you happiness? If the answer is negative, you may want to think about donating, selling, or getting rid of it. This process may seem daunting initially, as we tend to have emotional attachments to our belonging. As you declutter, you might experience a feeling of freedom when you let go of things you don't need. Minimalism goes beyond just having fewer things. Apply this approach to your commitments and relationships as well. Take a moment to assess how you allocate your time and energy. Do you find yourself engaging in activities or fulfilling obligations that don't resonate with your values or bring you a sense of fulfillment? Understanding the importance of prioritizing and setting boundaries allows you to make room for what truly matters in your life. When it comes to consumption, Adopting a minimalist approach promotes mindful buying. Consider whether purchasing something new is truly essential or if it will genuinely enhance your life. This mindset can help you develop better spending habits and potentially save a significant amount of money. Simplifying your digital life is an important aspect of adopting a minimalist mindset. Streamline your email subscriptions, clean up your social media feeds, and be conscious of how much time you spend on screens. This can assist in reducing information overload and enable you to concentrate on significant connections and activities. Understanding the concept of minimalism can greatly benefit your mental well-being. Creating space for clarity and peace of mind is achieved by reducing physical and mental clutter. A lot of people discover that adopting minimalism can result in decreased stress and anxiety since there is less to handle and take care of in their lives. It's worth mentioning that minimalism can vary from person to person. There is no universal solution that works for everyone. It's important to strike a balance that suits you. Prioritizing what brings value to your life and cutting out any unnecessary extras. When you embrace a minimalist mindset, you'll notice how it impacts different areas of your life. Minimalism encourages you to prioritize what truly matters and let go of what isn't serving you whether it's in your career choices or relationships. Keep in mind that embracing a minimalist lifestyle is a process that takes time and effort. 
It's all about constantly evaluating and making adjustments. Begin with a small step, like tidying up a specific space in your home or politely declining one unnecessary obligation. As you start to see the positive effects, you might naturally apply this way of thinking to different aspects of your life. Embracing a minimalist mindset allows you to prioritize what truly matters without feeling deprived. This method can result in increased satisfaction 